Good evening, Mr. Zimmerman, head of the Jewish community in Charlottesville, Virginia. Good evening. We read uh, your shocking and frightening description of the anti-Jewish activities of the neo-Nazis in Charlottesville. Can you please describe us uh, what people at your community are experiencing? I think right now, um, if anything, there's a sense of shock in the community, a sense of trying to make sense of it all. There were scenes on the streets of Charlottesville this weekend that I think nobody in our community ever thought they would see in their lifetimes in the United States of America. How long has this been going on? It's not only th this weekend, right? Um, well, uh, the Ku Klux Klan, uh, which is a uh, anti-Jewish and uh, anti-African-American organization, um, held a rally here on July the 8th. Uh, that rally was held at a different park, um, uh, Justice Park, which is also a block from our synagogue. Um, but it was a much different rally. Um, you know, only about 40 Klan members attended that rally, although more than a thousand Charlottesvillians showed up to shout them down. Um, so, you know, so we had that rally on July 8th, mm -hmm. and then uh -huh. um, the events of this past weekend mm -hmm. that uh -huh. you all know about. What is the authorities' response to this uh, to that situation? Do you think that they are aware and do nothing about it? Uh, do you mean with respect to the Jewish community in particular? Yeah. I, you know, I've been trying to, I've been, I've, I've been trying to understand it and to make sense of it. And here's, here's the best that I can, here's the best that I could come up with. I think it's really hard for people who are not Jewish to understand how seeing these symbols and hearing these shouts affect the Jewish soul. It, I think, I think this is a good community with, with good and tolerant people. Mm -hmm. And, uh -huh. and they, they've been very, very supportive of, of us. But they don't understand what it feels like to be the object of this hate. Uh, are are the people in your community are, uh, fearing from, uh, for their life? That's what you are saying? No, I, 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 I think people are afraid. I, I can't say if, if, if people are fearing for their lives. I'm not fearing for my life. I'm fearing for the soul of my city. I'm fearing for my congregation. I'm, I'm wondering where we're headed with, I'm wondering where we're headed that, that not only that this kind of hate is out there, I mean, we as Jews have always known that this hate is out there. Um, I'm, I'm trying to understand how it, how it comes out into our streets this way mm -hmm. and, is, and, is able to, and is able to express itself in this way. And I, I'm just, I'm, I, I struggle with it. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, do you think that this situation is influenced by Trump's feeble condemnations uh, of the attack? I'm here to, you know, represent my synagogue, and I, I and I don't want to get into the politics of it. Um, that said, um, my heart sank yesterday watching the president's news conference, and my heart just sank. Mm -hmm. uh, when congregants have, uh, you know, have, have come up and. And and uh, and discuss this with me, and they've, you know, and, and and have been afraid, and 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 I've assured them that that this is not Germany in 1933, that Jewish people don't have to have the same fears in an, in America in 2017. And uh, after watching the president say what he said yesterday, I don't know if that's true anymore. I don't know. You know, uh, here in Israel, it is uh, customary to ask, are you considering making Aliyah to Israel? I, 
Making Aliyah to Israel is something that is always in the mind of my wife and I. But this incident would not be a reason why I would do that. If, if and when I make Aliyah to Israel, it will be because of Israel, not because of the United States. Mr. Tillman, thank you for this interview. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.